so previous videos real quickly prerequisites plex configure video one video two tatuli configure video three influx video four was collect d now we're on to video five which is telegraph um, again this is a standard repository so just a sudo apt install if i could type telegraph now for telegraph we do have a because we're using this primarily for Varkin we do have a custom um, config file we're going to want to utilize to to make that work right which uh, it's it actually published on Varkin's um, Grafana dashboard They pretty much pre-configure everything for you. Okay, so we've got, or, I'm sorry, we've got Telegraph installed. Let's go into Influx, let's create a database for it. Because it needs one. And that's done. Let's clear that out. And now we want to go back a folder. Of course, that was the wrong command. And Telegraph, where are you? There you are. I am uh, typing faster than I can think right now. Now we'll do it. All right, so if we look at the telegraph config file, you can see there's already stuff in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to move that file to a backup file. Allows me to rename it. And then we're gonna do a nano on a new file, telegraph.conf. And I'm going to paste in all the stuff I took from the other page, which is all this. Now let's just take a quick walk through it, make sure we got everything. All right, so here you go. InfluxDB. We obviously got to change that because that's not the right address. So let's correct that right off the bat. It is still 8086 though. Telegraph is in fact the database we created. We did not create a username or a password for it. Net. Now this one here, note this F0 interface. We got it, I'll show you how to check that. We gotta make sure that's correct, okay? All right, so we're gonna save that file. Now we gotta know about the F0 thing. So we can do an if config, and that will tell you F0 is in fact the address that we got here. Incidentally, um, this version of Ubuntu does not use the standard configs previously, if you're not familiar with it. Um, it uses something called NetPlan. So let me just show you that real quickly. This file here, is the one that contains all of your info. And if I go in here, there we go, F0, again, it's our interface. If you wanted to do a static IP address here, you would change this to no. Now, NetPlan uses this whole tiering of spaces to determine where you're at. So you would do, uh, make sure you keep that in line, addresses and whatever you want to use for an address slash CIDR, and don't use tabs gotta use spaces and then you would do gateway 4 for whatever your gateway is in this case the virtual lab is that one and now you want to specify some name servers so you say name servers next line now here's the thing this line is a subtree so you have to indent two more times you do your addresses command and then you give it a list of DNS servers 253 is a bind server that I have and give it Google, and then you would save. Now, I'm not gonna save because for me, it's not going to let me, because I did not sudo prior to doing this. But that's basically what you would need to do to give your system a static IP address. Once you're done, you would do sudo netplan try. It would try the configuration, and if you've done it right, it would work. Um, end result, though, would be you get the new IP address. Um, there's an automatic timeout. Let's say you're connected over SSH and that address breaks everything and you can't get back in. 
then after I want to say two minutes it rolls back to whatever the previous configuration was and locks you in on that one <clears throat> anyway separate issue separate note altogether um, so the next thing we want to do is enable telegraph because once again we gotta tell it go ahead and start when we're when we're booting and let's go ahead and start telegraph and if I do a system CTL status Telegraph, I should have it running, which I do. And just for haha, so let's check everything else. Is collect D also running? Collect D is also running. And if we do one more for influx DB, that is also running. So everything we need to run is running as of right now. Plex is up, Tatui is running, um, everything is good. So to that end, we're going to conclude Telegraph because Telegraph is up and running and move on to the next thing and the next thing is going to be installing Varken